in the most recent U.S. Census, there was about 30.2 million people that reported having some mobility problem, and about 15.2 million people in the U.S. use a mobility aid. And that includes things like a cane or a walker or a wheelchair. There are a lot of navigation apps out there and mapping tools. There's Google Maps and Waze, but none of them really provide features that aid um, uh, people with mobility impairments. What they don't understand is much about the physical accessibility of the world. And so we're really trying to improve these modern day uh, graphical mapping tools to have some knowledge so that if you have a mobility impairment, you can navigate as freely as someone who doesn't. So Project Sidewalk works a little bit like Waze, uh, if you've heard of that. Waze is a crowdsourcing app where if you're like driving on a road, um, you can get an alert about an upcoming pothole or bad traffic. And the way Waze works is it asks drivers to contribute information about real-time traffic or other things that are happening out in the street. The difference between Project Sidewalk and Waze is that we're not asking people to be physically located on where they're reporting. In fact, you could be in India and reporting on Washington, D.C. And the way we do that is we virtually drop you into a scene in Washington, D.C. through Google Street View. Anyone could just load the website and we have this giant participate button. You click on participate and we assume that you don't have any familiarity uh, with accessibility. So we try to train you in to both notions of accessibility as well as our tool in an interactive tutorial. So you click on the let's get started and we bring you through this interactive tutorial. So this first thing just says, you know, this is a curb ramp. And in order to label it, you click on this flashing thing. So it says curb ramp, you click on this button and then you put it underneath where the yellow arrow is. And then we also allow people to rate the severity or the sort of um, the quality or characteristics of the accessibility feature. And so we can rate it as a one and we click OK. And then it tells us to pan. So we're essentially in this virtual reality, if you will, but it's real life um, pictures from the physical world. And we go on to the next thing. And now notice that there's no curb ramp here. So it's saying click the missing curb ramp button to label it. So we click this. In the worst case, someone could use this curb ramp, which would throw them into traffic and then they could kind of loop around and get into the crosswalk. So rather than say that, that it's not passable, we mark it as a three. That's what, what our suggestion is. So the goal is to map the accessibility of the entire world. And so while that's a really broad, ambitious vision, what we're really trying to start with is mapping uh, Washington, D.C. and the accessibility features of sidewalks in particular. So that includes things like curb cuts or curb ramps, uh, sidewalk obstacles that might be in the middle of the sidewalk and prevent people from going past that are in wheelchairs, or even surface problems, so degradation of sidewalks over time due to weathering. The tool that we're going to create for people to use this data is called Access Score. So it kind of gives you an at-a-glance information about the accessibility of the world. The idea is to create this model which will give out a score. It's not just about visualizing the accessibility of this region, but it is also about how accessible is it for a particular person? He might be on an electric wheelchair, or he might be in a manual wheelchair, or he might use some other kind of aid. Based on what he uses, his movement in the environment changes. So we are creating this relationship between the built environment with the mobility impairment, and then create a score which is specific to that particular person. Another tool that we're working on is called Accessibility Aware Routing. When you load up your phone right now, and you type in a destination, Google Maps or Apple Maps gives you a nice pedestrian route, but it has no notion of accessibility. So what we're trying to do is give you a smart route that gives you multiple suggested routes based on what your mobility level is, and then it caters it directly to what uh, the system thinks you can accomplish. And because our data collection is visual, that is, we get actual pictures of the problems, we can then show that to the user and they can confirm whether or not they can travel on that route. Every time you give us a label, our system gets better. So as our methods become smarter, we think we can move beyond Washington, D.C., and we hope to go into 10 more cities, including New York and Baltimore and some cities on the West Coast as well. So we really rely on the data that our users provide for us. This is a volunteer-based system, so we really need users to participate. You can simply go to the website and click on participate. Even 10 minutes of your time is worth uh, a lot for us, so please participate in the system.